Hi guys, Richard Retro here, back with another video from YouTube's channel. Yeah, <laughs> so for once it's actually been a pretty good weekend, um, car boot wise. There's no charity shop pickups, charity shops have been garbage lately, they're really hard. Um, local pickups, once again, two or three are arranged by the time I get in the car and go get it. It's either quadruple and price, or you get there and the condition is, yeah, really bad or, or compared to the photos. So, yeah, not the best. But, um, yeah, car boot finds. So, the, yeah, so the last few weeks has been really bad weather. Um, so, lots of, I guess, lots of people have done the car boots, whether in midweek or on the Sundays. So, I did my usual, went car booting up Plymouth, and yeah, this is what I've got. So I've got quite a few bags. Um, yeah, busy weekend. <laughs> busy weekend. Um, I can't believe how much stuff there is. I missed out on loads of stuff, but there's quite a few of us um, going after it. Um, it's quite a, must have been lots of families and um, people just get either moving house, because that's what people do at the beginning of summer. Move house, um, people finish college, university, and or downsizing, like I said, moving. Or they just want to raise funds for the holiday. So normally the first two or three weeks of some holidays, they are the best car boot weeks. And yeah, so this is what I got. So I got three bags, four bags maybe. Yeah, so I went up to Plymouth, got there normal time. Um, yeah, loads of cars driving in. And I sort of just ran around like a crazy man. And I'm trying to think, what did I actually get at that car boot? So I think this is the bag I got from that one car boot. Um, I didn't get much, but yeah, walked around. I haven't sorted any of this out. So I think my first purchase was actually a couple of these items here. <laughs> Literally all on the floor. And I think I got that one. So these were a pound each, so I got some random Bubble Boy brick column three in one, which I've never seen before. So I just realised if I open it, I think I have seen it before. So I'm not sure if that's sort of retro, but yeah, that'll go in the handheld collection. Yeah, so Bubble Boy brick, brick column. Um, a little uh, remote control. Yeah, a little remote control. Um, this actually goes to. Use, hopefully, I'm not moving my ghosts. Uh, there's no little ghosts and little wheels, so you sort of remote control them. Get whacka 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 whacka. So this is the pack round one, and there is another one for ghosts. So hopefully, I'll, I'll find the actual um, other part to this, um, the ghost or the pack man to go with this. Hopefully, it works. And also, the, the woman had um, a smart two power converter. So it says it's for Sega Saturn or PlayStation, so I just noticed it. Yeah. For Power Color TV, RF composite video and stereo output. So to me, this just looks like normal back of a PlayStation. Then the cables go in there, which is the back of a TV. I thought, I think when I picked it up at the time, I might have thought it was something for the American one, but oh yeah, never know. So I get, I'll do a bit more research into that. I can't get him back in the box now. <laughs> kind of walking around, um, yeah, picked up this. Um, it's literally backwards. So it's Pokemon, um, well, gotta catch them all, Pokemon Yahtzee Jr. So as you know, I like my board games, so this is one to four players, four, four years and above. Not sure it's a bit a bit broken, but it's got the got the manual, as you would say. It's got the board. Not sure how many dice it's supposed to have. Loads of tokens. Yeah. So main thing with these board games, I made sure that was there and the manual. So yeah, happy. So this is from, must be late 90s. 2000 it is, it came out. So 
says five dice. Was there five dice? Yeah, five dice. Yeah, so I need to contents check that. So it looks all there to me, but yeah, happy. Pretty pretty random item. I see anything sort of that looks like that kind of Pokemon like era. And that's sort of like the logo you could So yeah, happy to get that. Um I think the same time I got that for a pound and the other thing, there's also had this, and it looks like a Wally plug and play. Wally! Eva! So yeah, plug and play TV game. <laughs> so, absolutely random. So not quite sure what games are on there. But yeah. There's a plug and play, but Oh I guess I guess he's the uh... Do I do it that way? Do I do it that way? So I guess that's the joystick. And that's the fire button. It says menu. Must be. Okay. A and B are there. <laughs> A and B are there. Not sure about anything else. <laughs> yeah, but I give that a go, so that was like a quid. I think I got them for three quid in all. So it was that. Wally, the bubble, um, boy, and the power converter. Also picked up some cables. I think these are quid each. So, um, PlayStation RF adapter. And a um, Nintendo DS charger. Uh, what else was there? Was... Okay, some random. Um, I think it's a dusty. Um, yeah, random Sonic toys. <laughs> Not sure where they came from. I just saw them in a box. So I think they were 50p each. You got them for a pound or a pound each. Something like that. But yeah, random. Not sure where they're from because they can barely stand up. What the fuck are they supposed to be driving cars? They might be driving cars. There's a few games I missed out on, uh, but I was happy to pick up these. So every sort of like games um, set that I saw, obviously rather through them all, pick up the ones I want. So I got a limited edition Sonic All Star Racing Transformed for the PS3. Um, didn't know they actually made this game, so yeah, happy to get a new game. Um, I'll give it a go, and obviously just go in the Sonic cabinet. Um, Sonic Gems. Uh, I think this comes with Sonic R. Yeah, Sonic R, Sonic CD, and uh, the arcade 3D fighting classic. Sonic the Fighters, but then there's obviously the um, Game Gear classics as a bonus, if I remember. Yeah. Sonic Edge 2, Sonic Spinball, Sonic Hedgehog, Sonic Drift, Tails, Sky Patrol, oh, and Tails Adventure. Um, Crash Nitro. See, all these are complete. Um, Sonic Riders, Zero Gravity. I don't think I've got this one, so yeah, I've literally gone Sonic crazy today. Complete. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Complete. And something for my Final Fantasy cabinet is Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Um, special edition. So, I think it's a special edition. Well, the case looks different, so I don't have this case. So, I think I paid a quid for it, even though it says Luke's St. Luke's Hospital, about 50p. <laughs> yeah, quite a lot of stuff is really good in some of the DVDs, so. A normal DVD, bonus disc. What does it say on the front? Exclusive CD. I'm not sure if I've seen the CD. But it's got that leaflet, that leaflet, that. Oh, there's a CD. Ryan Whitaker. Limited edition CD. Does that mean there's more of them? 
Is there more to collect? Because he's not one of the main characters. Well, he is a character, but there may be more. So, yeah, happy with that. Result. I think I just opened it at the wrong end. <laughs> Paypal. Okay, on to the next bag. I'm going to have to go over it. Okay, so um, that was, yeah, that was the slim pickings from the first car boot. Then I went, went on to Peacock Meadow. Um, luckily, I overheard somebody talking. Um, Peacock Meadow normally starts at half eight. But I heard someone say, today it starts at eight o'clock. So I thought, okay, I need to get there as soon as possible. It's like 20 to 8, I need to get there. Yeah, so I got there 3 minutes to 8, paid my money to get in, and yeah, they sort of blew a horn when we went round. Um, and because it obviously started half an hour early, half the traders weren't there, so there's only probably 3 or 4 of us that were actually there. And yeah, so this is what I got. I <laughs> might have destroyed some of this. <laughs> I decided to always go down the first aisle and then go up like that. If you start the second, you may go up like that and then back down. Um, yeah, so I saw this. I think this. Like a shark and maybe a man. I think there's another man here somewhere. I think how much is this and how much is this? And oh, this is like a pound. And so I thought, oh, cool, take this. Okay, oh, so this is um, a pound or two pounds. So I thought I'll take that. Um, I didn't even see this, to be honest. So I'm not sure what set it is from. But yeah, I just shoved it in the bottom of my bag, obviously. And like some of it's like come apart. Not quite 100% sure. I'm sort of guessing where it goes. But yeah, so yeah, happy with a little Lego bundle. And like I said, my half the traders weren't there, half the public weren't there, so it was really quiet. And to run round and go round was like really good. So, so this is some, some Lego random. And some more Lego. So that would go with um, the Lego shark. This looks like newer Lego for me, so I'll, I'll um, probably post it on the Lego groups and trade for some of the old 90s, the castle, the pirates from the late 80s, um, 90s Lego. Yeah, so that's what I'm just pick, picking that up to trade. Kind of walking around, I was just asking, you know, how, how much is this? Always seems to be a bit too much. Or oh, there's some games, I think so, there was um, some, what, Game Boy DS? Or Nintendo DS games. Look through how much are they? How much are these? You know, no, they normally say one or two pound. So this is one pound. Usual trash that's in there, but yeah. So there's this random game, Full Metal Alchemist and Dual Sympathy, which I know is an anime series. So yeah, I well, can't wait to give this a go uh, when I'm out and about. Play the role. Yeah, Journey to the. So I'm not quite sure what kind of game, I don't know if it's an RPG or anything. Side scroller. So it just says, you know, explore the full Metal Alchemist story. English voices from the anime series. Yeah, so I just saw that and thought, you know, it's not, I saw I already got CEX 8 quid on it. For a while ago. So yeah, for a pound, it's just definitely worth picking up. I would put in the collection, trade or sell on. <clears throat> um, yeah, Calvin going around again. Um, some guy, um, yeah, yeah, some books. Um, like I said, it's like at the moment there's so much stuff to go for. Um, as I the video, yeah, I mainly go for the old video games and stuff. But some of my friends. Um, they sort of collect video games, but they seem to be making more money of picking up shoes, selling shoes, 
picking up stuff like that. Um, dictaphones. Um, yeah, or even just rifling through books or vinyl. So it's all like different collectors. So sort of me, I so only sort of get like retro games and maybe some other little collectibles. They used to do it all the time, because but it's getting less and less. But yeah, so I saw some books on the floor, some um, Warhammer White Dwarf books, and then, yeah, they were 50p each. So I got Warhammer one of the rule books. So I'll be able to sell this for five or six pound online, or trade with my Warhammer guys to say if they got an incomplete Warhammer, because this is the original war, um, book for one of these sets. Uh, Warhammer, no, yeah, this is the White Dwarf. dwarf. So White Dwarf, what number is this one? 242. Not sure what year does it say? I can. Must be around 2000, I can imagine. I don't know, it doesn't really say what it might say inside. Give me the year for Christ's sake. From the models and the cover, it looks like around 2000. 99 to 2002, I think. Yeah. Another White Dwarf magazine. Yeah, this must, must be around 2000. And a codex for Warhammer um, vampire counts. So I sold one of these um, probably a few months ago for about 8 quid. Um, all depends what edition. This one looks different to the one I sold. But lots of people are getting into the old Games Day Golden Demon 1999. So this is definitely from around 2000. So they White Dwarf must be around 2000 or so. Yeah, two quid. Well, happy. Trade with Warhammer guys. And um, yeah, probably a bit too new um, White Dwarfs for me. Because I like the ones in the 80s, like early 90s. That's when I like religiously played like Warhammer, Games Workshop stuff. But yeah, happy to get them in. <coughs> um, yeah, I saw kind of walking around and I saw a box that just said, I think it just said Transformers, like a quid each. So I looked in there and there were really cool Transformers. They're sort of the plastic ones. Um, she said she kept. Um, I go, oh, you got any more? She said, oh, I kept, kept them. Uh, kept going back to her. I think a job buy them. Don't know buy. She had like twenty three like Transformers. They go, oh, I go. I got, I got some metal ones at home. And she goes, oh, I kept all the metal ones. But these are the ones I got. Not really bothered about. Um, she used to collect them as a kid. She was beautiful and hot as well. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, you admit, hello. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, get on um, going back. And I saw this sort of like behind like the Transformers, and it's just a random Lara Croft. Not sure where where from, but yeah, it was just a random Lara Croft figure. Does she stand up? Oh, of course she doesn't. I think do I yeah do I buy do I buy all the Transformers or not? And every time I went back, there was always like one or two less. So I guess other people probably got more knowledge of them. We're just taking out the ones that probably liked and that all and I thought oh no so I sort of walked away if I had a bit more money I would have probably you know got them all I think there was 25 26 and then she wanted 20 quid for them I think I could have gone for 20 quid but yeah I was happy just to walk away but going back I'm like oh painful <laughs> so I thought no leave them there kind of walking around the car boot and there's also a bring out a Wii um, I'm not sure if I said you got any video games. I said, you know, could I look in your, could I look in the Wii bag? And um, what I advise everyone to do now is every time a Wii comes out, always ask um, to look at the games because you never know. There's always going to be Wii games. Probably in every one in sort of three bundles of Wii games I look at, um, there's always GameCube games. So I said, you know, can I have a look. I think I picked out one. I think I picked out one of these. And that was Donkey Kong Jet Race to begin with. I said, oh, can I look in the bag? And she's like, yeah. And I noticed, I'm not sure that Wii game came with it. I noticed she had some GameCube games. I said, how much are Wii games? Which said £1 each. So I got these for £1. So Mario Golf, um, Toad Store Tour. She did have Mario um, on the Wii. But I think the, I think the disc was actually in the, in the Wii. Maybe I could, should have said how much for the Wii as well, but... 
there's only so many Wii's you'd have. Uh, Mario Sunshine, um, Gamer's Choice. Crazy Taxi, so this is just good trade follow up. Like I said, I'm selling in a few weeks time at, um, in Doncaster. So this would be good, good, good stock for my store if I haven't got it already. Donkey Kong Congo. And Wario WarioWare, or Ink, we called it. WarioWare Ink, Mega Party Games. It says PAL, but for some reason it's got a T on the back. Yeah, so I was happy, happy to get them. I think I got them all for a fiver in the end. So yeah, well happy. Um, it's good to see some GameCube games at Car Boots. Um, yeah, I was walking around probably about half an hour later with one, when, yeah, one of the other sort of like collectors, the traders, you know, I'm good friends with. And he said, oh, I got, I got, um, I think it was Legend of Zelda or, or um, Mario Kart with Legend of Zelda disc like over in the corner. And I'm thinking, oh, I guess like the woman with the Wii goes, yeah, I got the Wii. And then, and, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I got, I got loads of games from him. So I showed him, I go, oh, I've got these games from him. He's like, oh, what? And, um... It looks at he goes, Oh, where did you find when you find the other um, Zelda? I think it was just Zelda and yeah, it was yeah, double dash with the extra Zelda disc, I think. Um I go, where did you find that? He goes, Oh, I, it was in a bag of Blu-rays. And I'm thinking, oh shit, I should have asked, you know, was there any more games anywhere? So I missed out on that one because I did sort of like hang around to um look at the Blu-rays, so I just saw a yeah, bag of like Wii games and GameCube games, so I thought, yeah, to get them, but then later on she must have brought out some some more um, I need to probably watch back my video. Um, yeah, she brought out some Blu-rays, and that was sort of in, in amongst them. I'm like, oh, gutted, but I'm happy with this. Happy, happy with this little collection. As always, from the Inlays discs. I don't have Donkey Kong Jet Race. Not sure about Wario Wear or Wario Wear, yeah, Wario Wear Ink. So yeah, happy. Um, I think later on, I'm not sure if it's part of the same bundle. It might have been, but yeah, I know I got this for like one or two quid. And that's Rayman Raven Rabbits 2. I got all I got Rayman Raven Rabbits, the first one. Or rabbits, yeah, is it rabbits? I don't know. <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, happy. Um Yeah, kinda of walking around. Um there's there's always like um some Warhammer. There's this Warhammer on the floor. I was like, you know, usual, how much you want for it? And he's like, oh, three quid each. I think it's three quid each. And I thought, oh, it's probably a bit too much for me. Kind of walking around, went back, and I said, oh, I, I, said, oh, I, I picked one of them and had a look. I picked up this set here. A bit dusty. Um, I know it's quite heavy, so obviously they are metal figures, and metal figures seem to sell really well. Um, can I get it out first? I saw there's like five figures in there, they had five bases, and it's probably what, 90... I don't know, it says 92, but the box, I think, is not 92. 2,000. Yeah. So these are normally sell for four or five pound each, just on their own. Um, I can swap and trade, like I said, with the Warhammer guys. But also he said he had quite a lot of Warhammer at home. So I said, oh, I love, because this was the main set I picked up first. I'm like, oh, I love this stuff. The older stuff is what I collect. And they said, you know, I've got, I've got some other stuff at home in the loft. So I gave him, gave him my phone number and that. And hopefully he's going to let me know when he's sorted it all out. And I'll be able to go around and buy, buy some of it. So, yeah, it's painted, which I'm not too fan of, like, stuff being painted, to be honest. But, yeah. Got some snotlings, spiders, all sorts. Yeah, this one, what's this one? 98. That's probably when I stopped playing around 98. I think. Go and put things back together. <laughs> Have to sort it out anyway. Yeah, so hopefully, I gave my phone number and hopefully we can. Um, He'll message me and I'll go and buy some more Warhammer and stuff off him. So, well happy. That was all that car boot done. Or what? What for? Anyway, so normally after it, after about twenty minutes, the sort of car boot sort of like over really. But you still like walk around. Um, then you sort of look deep into boxes and stuff like that. 
And I went down the first aisle, and the guy was selling some Pokemon cards. And I thought, yeah, I'm looking at it, thinking, oh, cool, those are Pokemon cards. I go, how much you want for the Pokemon cards? It's like 10p per card. There's like a thousand cards there. I said, you know, would you take £10 for the lot? And he sort of laughed at me. He was like, haha, don't think so. I'm like, whoa, calm down, mate. Uh, I'm like, how much for the, how much for this folder of cards? He goes, one pound fifty. Pl- I thought he said one pound fifty for like the whole folder, but it's one pound fifty plus ten p a card in the folder. I was like, oh, and I'm not sure if I said fifteen. He's like, nah, it's all laughing at me. He goes, I know, I know a ballpark figure in my head. What I want, and we sort of like going around in circles. And I said, it's ten p a card. Yeah, he goes, yeah, ten p any card. So I thought, okay. Um, yeah, I'll, so I'll spend the next, like, 20 minutes rifling through all the cards. And basically, any card that was a shiny... <laughs> any card that was a shiny or um, had the star in the bottom right corner, which I think is a rare, I um, picked up. See, on this item, I thought when you said, like, it's £1.50 for this and all the cards in. So I was like... So I said one pound fifty for the folder. You go, yeah, one pound fifty. So I was like going through the folders, t- uh, like taking out basically all the commons, all the uncommons, and putting in rares. So all these folders have all got either shinies or, or I think rares because they got the star. It's a ten p per card. So I'm like, okay, result. I'm not too, yeah, I'm not too much, I'm not a Pokemon player, I'm not even a Pokemon collector, all I'm doing is just like hoarding, hoarding the games, hoarding the cards, sorry, and um, hopefully the real trade with my um, Pokemon friends. Everyone that had a star in the corner and was like really, like really shiny. So I thought I was getting that for 150, 150, and he's like, nah, it's 150 plus 10p a card. I'm like, oh. So I did this one, it was like 150 plus, I think it was like £2, so it worked out £3. And I thought, oh. So I thought, three, six, nine, and in the end, I got us all for £10. So really happy I got it for £10. He goes, oh, see, you, you know, you left me, you left me basically like. 900 cards, <laughs> so I can sell, and you, and then, you know, you spend ten pound in your original offer, and I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Apart from any, any card that was sleeved as well, I thought, well, why is he sleeved them? So I got those ones. So yeah, so I spent ten pound, got some folders, and all these, yeah, and loads of stars in the right hand corner, and any shinies. So I did feel a bit guilty because he said his song. Was that all go to uni or been at uni for three or four years and was selling this stuff? So I was a bit guilty, sort of like picking out all sort of the good stuff. Like I said, it was at the end of the car boot. There's sort of other like traders and that. They're sort of like over my shoulder saying, Oh, you bet you're picking out all the good ones. I'm thinking, Shut up, you bastards. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I, do, I do feel a bit guilty, but it got 10. Oh, yeah, I paid £10 for him. Hopefully. Hopefully, I can get some good money for him, which I think I can. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm hoarding all the Pokemon cards. Next time I go to UK Games Expo next year, or if I get an opportunity to offload them before, I'll be able to, um, yeah. I think last time I probably got, took a third of what's actually here, and shit cards. I only got 60 quid. So hopefully there's quite a lot of money in there. If you guys know about Pokemon cards, you know, let me know what you think the value is. I did only a little quick, quick one. All these, you know, shiny. He's got like, so these are all from black and white edition, I think. So yeah, well happy, well happy. So that was sort of, yeah, that was that one done. That car boot done. Like I said, there's quite a lot here. Um, more than normal for then. So I thought, do I go home? Nah, I'm going to carry on. I went to Exeter car boot. I only originally took fifty pound out because I didn't want to spend that much money. Um, yeah, I've done lots of pickups lately. But for yeah, may as well, yeah, it's really sunny. I've done really well. It's going to be like this in the next car boot. 
so went to the went to the um, was it the little Tesco's? There was always a bank outside these little corner shop Tesco's. Took some more money out, went inside, did the you know bought like a sandwich for a quid, handed a twenty pound note, get change. Bought like a drink for like one twenty five, handed a twenty pound note, get some change. <laughs> Got like a one pound ten cake. Bed ten pound, get some change. <laughs> I'm like, can I free up a receipt? It's from my free mates in my car. <laughs> Clear how got my mates in my car. Well, funny. Um, yeah, so yeah, went up to Exeter. So um, yeah, I need to probably move some of this because <laughs> so I got. So I'm gonna be back in a bit. I'm gonna move some of this. Okay, so I got a couple of bags here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it in the order I got them all. I'm just gonna do some. Random order. So I was walking around. Um, I'll say sort of my not my big pickup, which was my first pickup of the event or of the car boat. I saw it at the end. Yeah, so I picked these up for a quid each, and it's Pog the game. <laughs> I think I've already got Pog the game. It's somewhere. Um, yeah, I think my one's actually missing some Pogs. So yeah, bikinis, there's like full set of pogs in there as well, which mine I don't think has. So hopefully this has got a little contents. Quite mouldy inside, so I can smell it now. But yeah, so I'll be swapping them out with sort of my one. And that'd be a good, good trade on. One game, <laughs> which I can say no to, the absolute garbage, is Trump the game. <laughs> It takes brains to make millions, it takes trumps to make billions. <laughs> oh, I'm back and you are fired. <laughs> garbage. Absolute garbage. I don't know why I even got that. But yeah. Uh, I don't know where to put it. put it there. Different quid. Hopefully it's complete and I'll be trying to sell that one on. Um, I can imagine it's like a fire or not even that. But yeah, I just wanted to pick up this because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, um, a couple of weeks ago, well, I did a video where I probably haven't, you know, uploaded it. Yeah, I might have uploaded it actually today. Um, I picked up a big car of like Mario. Um, this time it was the same woman, I didn't really know until I actually brought it. Um, I got, so yeah, so it's Bowser. But she said, um, I signed this plays of him, but she hasn't got the rope controls, which is really annoying. So I think I'm going to have to go on. They're really cool. So I want to go on eBay and see if they do the remote controls separated. But yeah, because I definitely race these puppies. They just need a, need a good clean as well. Um, picked up a, um, I think this was like a pound or two pound. Um, I thought it was an arcade, but it's a Kade Eye. It's basically the other way around. So I've got an arcade up there. But this is for iPad Mini. But I've got a big iPad, so <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I got this one. But yeah, I just thought it was something video game themed. I got it. So yeah, these are you um, just put your iPad in there. I think you can download some games um, or search on the App Store. Hook it up, and you've got your own little arcade machine. So I'm not sure, I think it might be a bit faded side. But yeah, I've got like, my big one up there. Not sure it was the same company, but yeah. But I'm just happy to pick that up. Um, any sort of plushies I sort of pick up and have a look at. Um, there's still quite a few, they're quite a little bit damaged. I think this one I just noticed a little bit damaged, but I got this for a 50p or a pound. Um, yeah, it seems more solid than normal. I think he's been washed. Yeah, it looks like a bit damaged there, but nothing a little bit of glue. Glue would do. Yeah, it feels a bit weird. Just realised he's been might have been washed because the label was actually faded. Go get on Trump. Um, yeah, I was walking around for ages and just leaving, uh, went down sort of the first aisle, and there were some um, DS games on the table. So I got these, I think they were a pound each. Um, I literally had like 
ten pound left on me, or eleven pound left. So I've got these, and it's Rainbow Island Evolution. Um, absolutely amazing. If you're into Rainbow Islands, just get this on the DS, and this is basically all you need. Really good, really good. Um, theme Park. It's an E, so I'm not sure if it's fake or American or that's USA. It's quite real to me. Um, yeah, so it must be a fake one. Looks like Spanish, not American. I don't know. I think that's the second theme park one I've actually picked up, just like that. Next one, which I don't know why I even got. And um, welcome to Hugsville. Build a bear workshop. And it's by Activision. <laughs> so you build me Call of Duty. Or published Call of Duty. I can't even open it. Fuck my life. So whatever build a bear is. Guess you build your own bear. Yeah, I think I paid a quid each for them. <laughs> Why did I get that one? I don't understand. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Um, we've got some cables down here, which I can't be bothered to show you. It's just kettle cables. Um, like I said, I'm a few kettle cables short with a PlayStation and stuff like that. So any of them I see for 50p, I'll let you pick up. There's about six of them down there. So, yeah. So happy. Happy to get them. So yeah, walking around just the beginning, it's all like trying to figure out where the traders, who um, the um, sort of private sellers are, and sometimes you like walk in and out between the cars as well. So I just walked in between a car and I saw, yeah, just yeah, in the window, just like hanging out. Um, yeah, it was a PlayStation, or the basically these games. Um, so I said, oh, can you get them out for me? And they're like, oh, they, they just turned up. They're like, yeah. We will. So we've got the consoles. There's three consoles there. I'm literally putting my um, lizard bags. <laughs> soccer sports bags on top. So no one else could sort of see. Okay, so I'll get the games out as well. So she had them, like, priced on there. So the price that was actually on the box consoles were the price for the games. Um, some of them were actually good prices. Some were sort of over expensive. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have that much money on me. <laughs> I only spent money to begin with. But I probably only had like 90 quid on me. And um, yeah, so she brought out this. And this is what I got. And there was a few people standing behind me after a while because they're thinking, oh, what does he look like? I do it as well. But I see, you know, one of, the, one of the traders and that, they're looking for a box of games. They're sort of like they're ready to sort of pick any games they don't want or they sort of like leave behind. And we sort of do that. So, so they had um, an original PlayStation. Uh, as you can see, it's got 20 quid on it. It's a bit weird, this had like 20 quid, but I had like no games with it, but all the other consoles did. Um, I wasn't too bothered about buying this one, but the main thing I wanted was, it's a bit destroyed. But I sort of said, I'll definitely take it. And it is a Mega Drive 2, which I need to sort out the sides and everything. But it's got the, like you said, like you can see, um, Disney Aladdin, like, outer cover. Um, and it was 45 with the games, and it's got Disney Aladdin in there, it's like bagged and that, so I was like, I'll definitely take that, I think even before the games came out, so she brought the games out, I don't know how to put that out, and these are the games that it came with, there are lots of people like, hanging behind me, and I was like, oh, go away, go away, so these are the games, so I got that, and these games, 45 quid. I just realised she's like individually priced them as well. Um, yeah, so for 45 pound. Um, yeah, so I got Tailspin. Boxing complete. I didn't have time to check them, like I said, there was people behind me. I got 45 quid. I'm happy just to pay 45 pound for sort of that. And she said 13 games, there could have been, I don't know, 13 football games, I would have been happy. World of Illusion, Donald Duck. <laughs> Amazing. Um, the most everyone always talks about Aladdin. Um, 
you know, Jungle Book, but that is always my favourite Disney game of all time. Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. Complete. Winter Olympics, which I absolutely loved at the time. It was really good. Um, I remember you were shooting as well. I think I was really shit at shooting. Um, Sonic 2. Box and complete. Surprise how these. So many others are box and complete. Um, Primal Rage. <laughs> box and complete. I think I need this for the manual, so well happy. Jurassic Park. Box and complete. So, talking to her later on, she goes, Oh, these are my sons. My sons will be happy that I got rid of them. I'm like, I'm really happy I got this. Batman Forever. Box and complete. See, she's pricing them up somehow, um, you know. The ones I don't want, I might just leave the prices on there. <laughs> we can pitch table. Um, the Lion King. Um, Global Gladiators. McDonald's. Box and complete again. Like I said, I'll, ch I'll check the manuals, the um, cartridges, swap them around, any better condition boxes. All these have got click tags, so I think I'll be swapping them out as well. Um, Home Alone. Box and complete. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Special Championship Edition. Box and complete. Manual's looking a bit destroyed. Box is a bit destroyed, but happy. Um, Space Arrow 2. Box is complete. Full house. What a happy. And Aladdin's got Aladdin in. Got Aladdin in there as well. And that was 45 quid. I was like, oh, brilliant. Well happy. Well happy with that lot. I just realised. Um, well chuffed. And we shared a Saturn. It said a Saturn and two games. And that was 60 quid. So I was like, oh. But like I said, I've. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm there sort of, you know, how much you want for it all? She said £110, I think, I've only got 90 quid on me. Um, that's why I'm saying I'll definitely take this in the games. And then I took this as well. And also paid... You know, there was, what, there was two Saturn games in the Saturn. Virtual Fire and some, you know, football. Um, yeah, I think it was a football game. And then there was four other games, or three or four other like um, Saturn games. Um, I took out the ones I sort of wanted because I didn't have hardly any money, and obviously I'm at the car boots, so I wanted to spend. So I took out the one game which I don't think I got, um, but I left the other two or three there. I think one of them was high octane with a big box, and Jurassic Park maybe I'm not sure, but I know this is the one I definitely need, which was Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and in the end I got that one for fiver, so I got that one for fifty. 60, so I spent 70 quid <laughs> on, on that lot. Um, so I only had like 20 quid left for the car boot. Because <laughs> like I obviously spent 1, 2, 3, 4. So I spent like, yeah, 5, so I had like 15 quid for the car boot left. Make that 14 pounds for the car boot left. And yeah, that was it. Yeah, I left the sat in there. She said 60 quid. Um, it was box, yeah, it was all bagged up and everything. But I've already got one. And like I said, I needed more money for the car boot. And yeah, I think one of my other fr other friends, um, the guy actually got the um, GameCube game, um, Legend of Zelda on the um, Double Dash. He got it for 40 quid in the end. I was like, oh shit. So she took like 20 quid off. <laughs> I should, you know, I think I might have got this for 15. I might have said, yeah, we take 15 for it. She said, yes, yeah, so I've got, got a little bit of bargains. Um, yeah, I had, like I said, I, had some, I did have some money left. I mean, you got anything else? And she's like, oh, I've got, yeah, I've got a Game Boy and some games. So I'm like, cool, I'll have a look at that. And, you know, I'll have a look at it, I'll take that. I'll have to watch my video to see what she said. So I think, cool, um, I'll have that. I'll have, probably, I'll probably say that, I'll have a look at it. And then I turn around and there's a guy in a box. He's opened the, he's literally opened this like tub up or like like a chest chest up with this plastic red or blue chest chest you see all the time. I think there's a blue one or green one. He opens it and there's like a box Game Boy and like two or three games and he's like looking at it and he, he said like 20 quid on it. I'm like looking at him up literally like, oh, that's all I've got left. It's like 20 quid. I'm like thinking, I really want that. This is where I'm like, you know, got anything else? I've got a Game Boy. Cool, I'll have a look at that. Turn around. The guy's like holding his hands and he literally just holds on 20 pound and like walks off. I'm like, oh, painful. Um, yeah, it was an old um, Game Boy 
original Game Boy. It was boxed. It was like the smaller sort of like yeah, smaller like square one. I'm looking over there now. And I don't have that version, so I was like, oh, I've been looking for that version for fucking ages. Painful. Um, yeah, I think the two box games, there wasn't anything sort of like I wanted, but I really would have wanted that Game Boy, but I would, that would have been my money spent. <laughs> so I was happy. Got all this, and yeah, kind of walking around, and this is the rest of the car boots I, I picked up. I missed out on loads of other stuff. There's people walking around with Playstations, Playstation 1 or 2 games. Um, but I was so yeah happy with that bundle, and yeah, I'm nice to do. I have to sort out, I have to sort out the the, Biz, the Disney box. Um, I think I also got this for like a quid as well. So it's a Saturn controller, um, unofficial Gamester one. A bit mouldy, a bit dusty. So I'm gonna have to do a, do a bit of cleaning. And that was it for that car boot. So I was well happy. Um, yeah, driving home, as you do. Um, there's so many more cars coming in, but I thought, you know, I want to go home now. Um, we have to leave by like, a certain amount of time, or they don't let you out. Because of the traffic chaos. Um, went went to Ivy Bridge on the way back. I've been over bridge, but must have been four or five times. I'm lucky if I even spend a quid. Um, got there. They sort of like, the guy just goes, go, and then was like looking, thinking, he couldn't quite hear him, he just sort of like, he's on the radio, he sort of like, go, and we all just like, literally, jump. what? So, I'm, so I've ran past people, where everyone's sort of like, looking at each other, like, oh, can we go? <laughs> so I ignored the traders on the right, all the private sellers on the left, and then I came across some PlayStation games, how much for them? And the woman goes, 20p each, and I'm like, I'll take them all. <laughs> like, I'll take them all. I got these for 20p each, apart from that one game there. Okay, autumn Christmas releases, which I didn't know was there. So, okay, that looks like Dino Crisis. <laughs> the inlays are all the way around. Got no manual. Um, X Files are gay. Um, I do have like a damage like one of these cases, so I'll probably swap it around and this one will just be like broken. I'll sell and trade on. Let's see. Got this one, got this two. She goes, oh, I didn't think I would sell them. I'm like, wonderful. That probably, probably my best pickup of the day was these for 20p each. X Files. That one's complete. Um, two Raider 3. I didn't have bothered, I didn't have time to sort of pick out the ones where I thought for 20p, you know, ended up what being what, £2, £3. Yeah, I'll just take them all, even for the cases. Um, Southern Filter 2. Oh, I've got a little game station, new new game in the top right corner, a little sticker. 5% discount available for bonus card holders. Cool, it's got the two discs. Metal Gear Solid, really happy. It's got the Silent Hill demo as well. It looks like it's got both manuals. It's normally about four booklets with this. Okay, the manual. Kunami, the little releases. The normal Metal Gear Solid book. The Kunami post thing. And the leaflet on the limited edition one, or Metal Gear soundtrack on sale now. So you will not find a better Metal Gear Solid than that with all those extra little leaflets. <clears throat> Fear Effect, oh, fucking amazing game. Um, yeah, once again, Game Station played and traded, fully guaranteed. Fear Effect, fourteen ninety nine. Um, yeah, it was really good. Looks like it was all complete there. Fear Effect 2 was good as well. Um, definitely different kind of graphics at the time. Um, I wish they did more. <coughs> I wish they definitely did more. Um, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. 
So two disc, no manual. But I think I got a manual for it, actually, in my little manual box. Get out of here, Trump. Medal of Honor Underground. One to two players. Can't remember if you're in co-op or not. Oh, it's really good. I love Medal of Honor Underground. Here it is, Fear Effect 2. The wind were hot as well. New game price, twenty nine ninety nine. Bonus card price, twenty eight forty nine. It looks like a different cover, because I don't remember it saying computer and video games like the little thing in the top right corner, so I have to have a look at my copy. Looks all complete. What a, what a brilliant bundle I just realised. Medal of Honor, oh, my favourite favourite Medal of Honor of the game, this and Frontline I would say. 1909, brilliant, without these games. I definitely want to give that another go. In Cold Blood. <laughs> oh, the discs are like in really good condition when I think I remember checking them in the car. What was that the other ones? Where are the other ones down there? Check, it's not these ones. Um, in Cold Blood. I don't remember much of the In Cold Blood, to be honest. I think it was one of them... Um, one of those adventure games. Yeah. 3D adventure game? Okay, I'm going to have to play that to see. Um, Siphon Filter 3. Cool, complete. I'm glad I did say I'll take them all because literally they're all. And who wants to be a millionaire? 20p is good for the cases. Yeah, so that was that bundle. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4. I think it was 250 I got them all, all for. And around them, my disc. Um, yeah, so I was well happy. After all the times going there, I'll finally pick up some really good bundles of games. Um, Count and walking around. Um, I walked on sort of the other side and thinking, do I go up the top and come down? Because they've got four or five like cars at the top. So do I go like that, or do I literally just go do halfway and then go on the, the like a row here, and then look at the top up here? So I thought, do I go up there, or do I just go, and then sort of like down like that, and not miss up the ones at the top? I went to the top bit, came down, and I'm like, oh, and there was this bundle of PS2 games, and there was all the guy like picking stuff out, Resident Evil Dead Aim, Resident Evil 4, um, Co Veronica, I think there was there, some other Resident Evil game. Um, yeah, and this is sort of the only one I actually got from that bundle. And it was Need for Speed Carbon, the Collector's Edition. I can't remember if I actually got this. I'm not quite sure why is it the Collector's Edition. Um, so I'm missing the manual. I think I've got it, but it looks like that. So I don't have the outer cover. But it's missing the manual. So clean up the outer cover. That will go around. I don't know my one has a manual, because this is my got manual sort of like walk. And that was one pound I think from the lady. Yeah, so I kind of walking around, so I thought, oh time to leave. And I, as always I'm more like it's time to leave. Um just like I'm gonna pick up these, just go down the trader row. And there's just some games on the floor. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I picked these up. I think I got it for four quid. And, um, yeah, one or two, maybe or maybe one might have been over there, I'm not sure. But I know definitely Metal Gear Solid, so I've got another Metal Gear Solid. So that one's only got one manual, two discs. So that one hasn't got the Silent Hill demo. So it's a bit weird that some of these came with a Silent Hill demo, and some didn't. Or did they all come with Silent Hill demos? Hmm. 
Um, Heart of Darkness. I sort of opened it and I thought, oh, fuck my life. I finally found one. Obviously that, and it had like this. So I'm like, oh, I opened it and it hasn't got... I think the 3D glasses were in there. And it hasn't got 3D glasses. So I was like, oh, no. So I need to check my copy to see if I've got that bit there. I think the glasses went up the top there and sort of came off. I'm not sure if I've got my 3D glasses or not. Die Hard Trilogy. Um, it all seems to be upside down. Let me drive. There's a fire in the terminal. It's a platinum version. Yeah, a bit surprised they're from a trader. Discs are in good condition, so like, like, I said, like I always say, swap out condition, and these will just definitely go on the convention table. Bruce Willis is what you call it, Apopolix. <laughs> dreadful game, absolutely dreadful. I think these are, did all actually come with this set here. And Doom, which is amazing. If you can get two copies and play Link Up, it's absolutely hilarious. It's got a platinum disc. Boo! Random. But I do have the register cards. So there we go, my copy. And I've got a platinum version doing with a platinum manual. Oh well. Random. But yeah, play. Turn the lights out. Play two player this. And the amount of times you go around the corner or you have to go left or right. One of you goes left, one of you goes right. And then suddenly you like meet halfway through the level and then you just turn around the corner and you see something distant. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, shoot them. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Half the health goes because you shotgun them. <laughs> and at the end. <laughs> you're just like, oh shit, sorry mate. Before you know it, you start killing each other and then the fucking you end up dead and then you're at the beginning of the level thinking, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Every like two or three levels, you're just like, oh sorry, I didn't see you in the distance there. <laughs> um, I think you can turn friendly fire off if I remember, but yeah, it's quite funny. So, wow happy. So I've got Mega Drive games and a Mega Drive. Um, I got my PS, yeah, PS1 and loads of PS1 games in a separate bundle. They did have, she did have some PS1 games, but they weren't the best games. Um, yeah, well happy. And I, in the end, I think I came back with... I've got one more game here. I came back with like four quid. <laughs> which I, I went to the pub to watch football, bought a pint and watched football with Arsenal Chelsea, which Arsenal won. Get in. I also picked this up. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Um, I picked up another Hobbit, probably in the last month or so. Um, I realised that one was like a quite an expensive one. It's an out of print one, or they're both out of print, I think. But that one was like the really good one. I only sold it for like 15 quid, but it's probably about 30 quid because I thought it was this one. And I saw this one thinking, shit, this is the one I was meant to buy. Uh, I was meant to sell because I think I've already got this. And uh, yeah, I just posted it saying Hobbit, 10 quid, thinking it was this one, but I actually sent the wrong one to the guy, I think. Because <laughs> I've got loads of ball games. But I picked up another one, I think this was like one or two pound. Um, this one's got figures as well, which is pretty cool. This is a more common one, and I sold the bloody rare one for like ten pound less. But I'm happy. Could pick this up for two quid, sell it for a tenner again, and to be honest, it evens itself out for me selling the other one. It's just boxing and posting, even after all, all that fees and me buying this and all the um the postage and that. So it works out in the end. I'm on par, really. <laughs> oh, painful. Yeah, it was. Oh, there's quite a lot of people walking around with stuff, but I'm happy. Uh, I was like moaning, thinking, oh shit, oh shit. So, I sort of bit down on myself, thinking, oh, you know, I've got some really fantastic things. I should be really happy. But you always think, too, there's so much stuff like there, and people walking around with bags of old stuff. And I'm thinking, shit, I wouldn't mind that. Um, I think I'm, a, I'm like two or three like PS2 controllers short. I've literally used them all, but I've seen like six different people walking around with one or two controllers that they just picked up for like a quid, 50p. I'm thinking, ah, shit, I need three. <laughs> like, I need two or three <laughs> for myself. 
But um, yeah, every time there was one controller. So yeah, really happy. Um, yeah, I didn't realise how much good Mega Drive games I got. All that for 45 quid. Yeah, the Saturn one, I don't know why that was 60 quid, but she sold it in the end, 40 quid to my mate, and the two games that were in there. I think he might have picked another game out of the box. But well happy. Some stuff for the collection. Trading in, trading out. Some stuff for my um, convention table. So yeah, looking forward to it. And yeah, I need to clean everything because everything's all dusty and that. But yeah, thanks for liking, thanks for sharing. Yeah, cheers guys. Whoop whoop.